So the first thing that we may want to do in terms of working with dates is grab something like the current date or time or create a new carbon instance with a particular date. If you have a date in mind you want to create and then manipulate or compare to another date, Carbon makes it really easy to do this. But we're going to look at how we can create a new instance of Carbon. We can pull in today's date and time, tomorrow's date and time, or anything like that really. So to create a new Carbon instance, we need to go ahead and uh, instantiate Carbon basically. So let's create a variable called C and we'll be using C as the variable for carbon throughout this series. And there are some static methods that we can use on here. Now, if you're new to object oriented programming, don't let these terms confuse you. It's fairly straightforward. And what we are going to be doing throughout the series is looking at the source code for carbon as well as a reference point, which is going to really help us understand how this works. So what we can do here is create a new carbon instance and that's all we need to do now when I go ahead and refresh this uh, won't actually work if we just refresh here we see class carbon not found now if we head over to the source code either the one downloaded with composer or the one you copied over we can see that if we check the source just here this is namespaced under carbon and all that means is that we need to uh, import this to be able to use it now, it's not very complicated. The class name is carbon and the top level namespace is carbon. So all we need to do is at the top of our project or anywhere we're going to be using carbon is to say use carbon carbon. That's all we need to do. Of course, what you can do is you can go ahead and say new carbon slash carbon, but you're not going to want to do this every time you use it. So it's best to just use an import statement at the top. So now we can see that when we refresh, we don't get any errors because we now have this C variable, which is a new carbon object. So let's just inspect this by doing a var dump on C. That's just going to output all we need to know about this. And you can see that it's an object. It's obviously carbon carbon. We've already seen this. And automatically we can see that we've got a public property here called date, which is a string containing the uh, date and the time. We've also got a time zone type of three and a time zone in terms of a string. We are going to be looking at time zones a little bit later in the series. So don't worry too much about these two properties for now. We're going to be focusing exclusively on date in this video. So how do we create new carbon instances for either specific dates or for example, now? So what we can do is we can use static methods here. So instead of creating a new carbon instance, I can get rid of new and I can use the static now function. So let's take a look at how this differs. When I press refresh, you can see nothing actually is different about this. It's doing exactly the same thing. But the syntax here is a little bit more friendly. Carbon now, we're getting the current date and time. That makes sense. So there are other static methods that we can use, for example, today which varies slightly differently in the fact that when we refresh, we only get a date here. We don't actually get the time. We're not specifying that this is right now. We're just saying it's today's date, which obviously doesn't have a time associated with it. What we can also do is say tomorrow, which is really useful. So this basically gives us tomorrow's date. You can see that switch from 14 to 15 of uh, the day of the month. And again, we get the time back as zero, zero. So what we can also do is something like yesterday, if we needed to get yesterday's date, so we can refresh and we see 13 here. Now what we can also do with carbon is create a date from uh, some values that we give. So what we can do here is we can use the static create method and we can go ahead and pass in a year, a month, a day, hours, minutes, and seconds. And this is going to create a date object exactly from that date and you might be thinking well why would you need to do that well when we're working with carbon we have a variety of methods available to us to do things like output dates and times in specific formats uh, compare dates manipulate things do certain checks so this will just allow you to pass in a specific date and then manipulate from that so let's go ahead and just pass in a year a day 
or a month, sorry, a day. And then we'll just enter zero, zero, zero here for the time. And let's go ahead and look at this now. And you can see it's created us a carbon object with that particular date. And obviously if we had passed times in, we would see the times appear here. So we can also do things like create from date if you just needed to create from a date. So we could remove the need to enter the time altogether. It just looks a little bit cleaner, it works in exactly the same way. You can see here that the time has changed slightly as well, like so. And all this means is that it's creating from this date, but it's giving us the current time. You can see that changing as I refresh. What we can also do is say create from time. And we can go ahead and pass in a time here. So let's do say 12. When we refresh, we get 12 and this is on the current date. So it's ignoring the date and the time respectively. So you might also be interested to do something like create from timestamp. So if you are storing timestamps in your database, which we'll learn later on isn't the best idea, we're going to be storing them as uh, a formatted timestamp inside of a database. But you can go ahead and type in a timestamp here. I'm just going to enter some random numbers here. And when we go ahead and refresh, you can see that that creates a date here and a time from that timestamp. Obviously, this being year 3701 is a little bit odd, but then again, I just typed in these random numbers. So what do you expect? So that is pretty much how we instantiate a new or create a new carbon object. We've used uh, static methods to help us out creating sort of dates from now and dates and times from now. Uh, today in terms of dates, tomorrow in terms of dates and yesterday. We've looked at creating from uh, data we pass in and then also creating from a timestamp as we've just looked at. So what we can also do is we can use uh, a we can create a new carbon instance from a specific date and time by passing in a sort of human friendly version. And this is probably what you would use if you were uh, grabbing a date from somewhere and passing it in. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and say new carbon and this will accept an argument which allows us to pass in a date. So let's say 16th of November 1989 and let's say at 10 o'clock. So this just looks like a human readable date, it's nice and readable. We can go ahead and refresh and we get exactly the same as we'd expect, the date uh, here and the time here. So that's really, really useful. Now, what we can also do is go ahead and say things like plus two days. And this stems from the fact that Carbon extends PHP's date time, which also allows us to do similar things to this. So if we say plus two days, uh, today's date is the 14th. So we'd expect this to see, uh, we expect to see the 16th here. And of course, we can use the minus here to take us back two days. And we can also do things like minus two days and six hours if we wanted to. And that's going to go ahead and do that. So it's taking us back uh, six hours as well. So you can combine these if you need to do something like this. It's usually very helpful. Uh, it really depends on your needs. But now you pretty much know everything about creating dates with carbon manually. What we're going to look at in the next video is formatting dates, which is probably going to be the most used methods within Carbon because these will allow you to output dates in a certain format. And we're also going to look at outputting dates in a friendly format as well. So in the next video, we'll look at that now that we know how to create dates and times with Carbon.